January 2014, question 10b. It says, the diagram below, not drawn to scale, shows the position of three points P, Q, and R on, horizontal, on a horizontal plane. P, Q is 120 kilometers. Um, P, R is 150 kilometers. And angle QPR is 23 degrees. We're asked to calculate correct to one decimal place. So I, I is asking us to calculate correct to one decimal place A, the distance um, QR. All right, so the first thing is that, um, the first thing is that PQR is a non right angle triangle. And the tools for solving your non right angle triangle are sine rule and the cosine rule. Now, if you have two sides of a non right angle triangle and the inclusive angle, and you wish, and you wish to find the length of the third side, it is a condition for applying the cosine rule. So we want to find x, and we're going to apply the cosine rule. So I, A, the cosine rule says A square is equal to B square plus C square minus 2BC cosine A. All right, that's the cosine rule formula. A is the side opposite. the inclusive angle um, B and C are the two sides of known lengths and capital A this is the inclusive angle All right, so um, and from the diagram, this would be common A for the formula, um, B and C for the formula, and this would be capital A from the formula. All right, so what we have is um, X square is equal to 120 square plus um, 150 square minus 2 times 120 times 150 the cosine of 23 degrees so therefore x square is equal to 14400 plus 22500 minus um 2 times, um, so that's sort of like 300 times 120. So 300 times 120. And that is 36,000. So this is 36,000, the cosine of 23. So this becomes... Plus and this becomes thirty six thousand nine hundred minus thirty six thousand the cosine of twenty three. So this is X square X which is um, x which is qr would be equal to the square root of this so it's 36 900 minus 36 cosine of 23 so qr would be equal to
right so qr is equal to 61.3 um, kilometers qr is 61.3 kilometers all right so a so i a is asking me to calculate the distance qr which is 61.3 kilometers um, B is asking me to calculate the area of triangle PQR. So B, the area is equal to a half AB sine C. All right, so this formula is used when you know the length of formula for calculating the area of a um, triangle is used when you have a non-right angle triangle. And you know the length of two sides and the inclusive angle. Um, a and B from the formula are the length of the two sides, and capital C is the inclusive angle. So, from my formula, this would be equal to a half A, which is 120, times B, 150, um, times the, the sine. The sine of 23 degrees. So this into this goes 60 times. So the area of triangle PQR would be equal to, so we have 60 times 150, the sine of 23. Alright, and this is equal to 3000. 516.6 um, square kilometers. All right, 3516.6 square kilometers. Um, I, 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 I says the bearing of P from Q, the bearing of P from Q is 252 degrees. Calculate the bearing of R from P. So we're told that the bearing of P from Q is 252 degrees. Let's put in the angle that represents that bearing. So um, it's a bearing of P from Q. So at Q, I'm going to start at north and come around. All right. To the um, to come around um, until I get to the line that connects P and Q. So I start here, come around until I get to that. So this angle here is actually 252 degrees. I think that's what they said. It's 252 degrees. All right, and they're asking us to determine the bearing of R from P. All right, so let us um, indicate the angle that they're asking us to determine. So it's the bearing of what R from P. Bearing is measured clockwise starting from north. So the angle that they want is this entire angle here. All right, piece of it we already know. This piece down here is 23 degrees. What we don't know is this top piece, which I'm going to call theater. All right. So let us see how we're going to find that top, top piece. Um, I'm guessing if I can find this angle here, this piece here, let's call it alpha. Um, I know I can, if I can find alpha, I can find theta. So let's find alpha. Um, so, so double I, double I, I would say that alpha is equal to 360 minus 252 and that is equal to that is equal to 108 degrees 108 degrees and these two are angles at a point Angles at a point add up to 360 degrees. Now, um, alpha and theta, going back to the diagram, um, the two north south lines are parallel, 
and um, the line PQ is therefore a transversal and um, so alpha and theta are um, are angles which are between the parallel lines which are on the same side of the transversal those angles are called co-interior angles and they add up to 180 degrees so from that I can then say theta theta is equal to um, 180 minus alpha which is 108 so this is equal to 72 degrees they are co-interior angles so now that I have that and um, I can now um, state what is the bearing of R from P so I can say that the bearing of R from P is equal to um, 72 plus 23 and this look as if it is um, 0, 9, 5 degrees. It is 0, 9, 5 degrees. So the bearing of R from P the bearing of R from P represented by this entire angle here is by that angle there that bearing is um, 95 degrees.